Hey everyone, here I'm going to show you how to create a player when you're playing FIFA 22 career mode. So from the root menu, pick play, and if you've created a career before, the career area will say continue career, but if you want to do a new one, you can just go to new career. Now, when you're in this page, um, you can use the current squads, so um, it will sign you into the EA servers and get the latest squads, so we'll do that. Um, and then you can pick manager career or player career. So I'm going to go with player career because we were interested in creating a player. And here you can pick between choose real player or create your pro. So we're going to go with that and create a player from scratch. Now the cool thing with this, it says, uh, ignore that bit, that's if you've got an avatar, so we'll just hit cancel. You get um, a bunch of people that you can use as a sort of basic um, you know, look, but then we are, we are free to configure this or just go with one of these here. So let's go with this guy here and then I'll show you how much stuff you can change on him. So when you um, jump into here, uh, it will give the player a name already. So first name and last name, but you're free to override this if you want. So we could go in here and give them a different name if we want. So we hit XXX or whatever it shows us back on the top right there of the keyboard. And then I could call them whatever. So let's go with, I don't know, uh, Let's go with Daniel. Uh, there we go. Done. And then we could change the surname or leave it as it is, but that's the same process, so I'll leave that as it is. You can also do a nickname known as whatever, um, if you want. Or the other cool thing you can do is a commentary name, and then your name will be read out by the commentators if it's a name that they uh, have in the system. So let's have a little look at this. So commentary name here. And then up the top, we can go to K, um, because in this case, the surname is Kelly. And then if we go down through here, this can take a little while, because you can see there's a heck of a lot of names in here. Uh, but hopefully there'll be a Kelly. So you just have to bear with me here. Uh, I think, yeah, we can. Um, left button and right button will flick down a bit quicker for you. So there we go, we've got Kelly, so that's cool. So as the um, game progresses, the commentator, when you're on a team with known players, uh, they should read out your name as well, which is cool. Kit name, Kelly, will be written on the back, but you could override that if you want. Kit number, so we can pick a different kit number if we like. Country or region based in, so I'm based in England with this particular one. We could go with a different region just by selecting it and picking a different one here, uh, but I'll back out of that. Uh, birth year, you change, of course birth month and birthday so you can make that uh, you know just to your personal preference from here you can go to the next page uh, by hitting rb uh, on your controller that's probably r1 on the um, playstation and here we can mess around with the body size so at the minute this character is set at five foot nine at 110 pounds so if i move my left stick down i can change the height and the weight so once you're on this one here press a or whatever the equivalent is um, on your controller. And then you can change, for example, the height. I'm six foot four, so just for example. And then weight, you could bang that up to whatever. Let's go for, I don't know, 190 pounds. And you can see as you make them bigger or smaller, they get narrower. Um, so you can get whatever look you, you want out of the, the character. Um, so obviously, I say obviously, you can give yourself a bit of an advantage for heading if you make your player that bit taller. Um, you can also see that this affects the attributes on the right hand side. So if I put him up at six foot seven, um, that's changing things here. Um, let's just check whether the height does as well. But you can see they'll change around depending on what you pick. So you might want to come up with something that gives you some good stats for what you're good at. Um, is it? Yeah, look, like acceleration seems to go up the smaller you are. Um, and decreases as you go higher, but the jumping ability goes up. Um, so you just mess around with that however you want, and then when you're good with that, you can hit X to reset it to the default if you want. So if we then um, click A to confirm that, or whatever yours is down the bottom right, the right button over to position, uh, you can then pick what position your character is going to be. So are they a forward, a goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, and then whereabouts, are they a striker, a center forwards, right, left, whatever you want preferred foot so you can have right or left uh, and what we should see is this also changes the attribute so um, things like the, the uh, defender is obviously going to have different attributes to say a forward um, so we'll go with that and well let's just say the striker there for example the head um, 
what you can do is zoom in so you can see this a bit closer. So down the bottom, can you see there's a zoom in button? And this one is the button on the left stick in my case. So if I do that, I'm now seeing the face up close. So it makes it a lot easier for me to see the changes that are going to occur here. Uh, and then I'm using the left stick to come down and then I can go between these different faces and just see on the right hand side how that gets affected. So you can see that there. So you just pick whatever one is good. You've also got some finer detail. So I've moved up there to highlight where it says face. And in this sort of subsection, I can go into things like the tone and complexion. So we could pick a different tone. So whatever sort of skin um, suits. And you can also um, go with darker complexions as well if you want. Um, so I'm in Britain, so I'm fairly pale. I've got slightly olive skin, but you get the idea. Um, you know, just go with whatever complexion you want. Uh, the eyes, we can change the eye shape. So if you look on there, can you see the eyes are changing? Like so. And the brows, you can change what sort of shape they look like, like that. So we go with the brows. We can change the nose. That might be good to go to a side profile. So you can see it's got a bit of a curved nose there. So if you wanted a different shape, you can just go through all of these until you find the sort of nose shape that you want. Like, let's go with that one. Uh, the mouth, so if we, I'm using the right stick, by the way, to spin the character around. Uh, you can see, I'll we'll just go here and pick whatever look that we want. And then back to here, cheeks and jaw. Uh, so again, we've got loads of customization here uh, that we can do. There's also a morph option here uh, where you have even more detail that you, you have. So you can go to any of these and really get just the look you're after. Or you can hit X to reset it and then just come out of there um, with B and B again. Um, and then we'll go to our left stick in to zoom in again. We can change the chin, the ears, and the process is always the same as you can see here. So I'm just picking different ones here just for argument's sake. The most important one I would think is probably the hair. Now you can have short hair, accessorized hair, or long hair, or medium hair. So whatever you like. I'm not sure why that one's a interesting different color bizarre um, but if you want to have a little look at any of these on your character you can just go over to them and press a or whatever it shows down the bottom to select it oh that's interesting here how about that one <laughs> that's even worse let's go with uh, some short hair uh what's that oh that's really for action that one uh let's see <laughs> trouble is i've got it's, it's the pressure's on now you know what sort of hairstyle do i want what's that one like that looks fairly normal not too bad. Um, you can also change hair color down here, down the bottom. So I'm just highlighting that. And then you can see that there's different uh, color types that I can go here. Um, or I can go in you know, many different colors. I can have green hair, blue hair, <laughs> um, whatever you want. So I'll just pick one there. Let's go with that one, that'll do. Um, and then we'll move back up. So. When we're good with that, I've hit B to go back. Whoops, going up to hair. And then you can also have facial hair or not. So we could have a bit of a little chinny beard thing going on there or more of a full on beard or this look here. Big crazy beard, how about that? <laughs> Brilliant, that looks terrible. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, maybe we go with no facial hair. Um, so we're good there. So then we go up the top. So we've got the position, we've got the head done, the kit. So if we go into this one, the kit fit. Um, if we go down to this, you've got waist fit and also whether you want sleeves. So on waist fit, I can have tucked in or tucked out or untucked rather. <laughs> kit sleeves, you can have short or long or undershirt or turtleneck, whatever you prefer there. Um, jersey fit, that's normal. You can have it tighter or team fit, whatever you prefer. Uh, that's that done. Then we come over to boots. So you can see we're on default is the black boots, but there's all sorts of boots that you can pick here. So we can choose our boots, whatever we think is, you know, a nice one for our player. So maybe, maybe those, they look pretty cool. Uh, you can change the kit socks. So you can have them average, short, or high, I'll go with average ankle tape, whether you want some tape on the ankles like that. I'm gonna go none. 
Uh, and then whether you want to have gloves, probably not, but um, there is an option of tape um, or a bracelet if you want, something a little bit different there. So you could have a, a rubber bracelet, for example. Um, I don't know, let's have a little look. Is it like a black one? Or a little sweatband? It's a blue one, like that. So you could have that or not. Tape like on St. Maximin or white rubber bracelet, so you can do that. Uh, same sort of thing on the right wrist, or gloves if you want. So that's the kit done. And then your animations, you've got your goal celebration, so you can have random, or you can put on a default one if you want. So you can have a little look at these and see which one suits for your player. Or just have them random each time. Uh, up here you've also got set piece style, so you can have the default, or hands on the hips, slow run up, Deep breath, or on the toes, whatever you prefer. Uh, penalty kick style, like that. Free kick style. So that's whatever you prefer. And then your running style, so we've got the default. <laughs> T-Rex, brilliant morning sunshine, peacock. So this is what your player's going to look like when they're running around. Quite good that there's all these different ones there. Or just the default, so there's the default. Arch back. <laughs> Whatever you like. Um, and then, when you're done, uh, and you've gone all through them, the other way you can go through all these different things is RT, right trigger, uh, or on the top one, um, left button. So when you've done everything and you're happy, uh, you hit the advanced button uh, either down the bottom or you can hit the menu button on your controller. So whatever it shows is the default one there. And then I'll say advance and then you pick the team that you want to play with. So for example, we could go with England. If you want to go with a lower down league to begin with while you learn things, you could go for say the league, league one uh, and then pick a team like say MK Dons. And that'll be your starting team. So then you're all good there. You can also change the match difficulty here. Half length, currency, European competitions, negotiation, strictness, uh, transfer window, all of that stuff. And when you're ready, um, just hit advance. Uh, your player will then be saved. And then you will see them signed for the team that you've got. And then you're into player career mode with your player that you created. So um, you can see there's a lot of stuff you can do there. So hopefully you can get a player that looks just what you want it to be like. Um, so I can select a player career here just to override. So I'll just go with that one and go done. That's fine. I'll just override the last one. Um, you've then got your attributes that you um, can also add. So this area here is where you sort of boost all of these. Um, or rather you can pick what, what you want to go for to improve your your character so for example in this case because i'm a striker i might want to focus on finishing so i've got seven skill points you see up the top right um so we could have volleys and long shots but there's loads of different ways you can develop your character um so once you've done all of that um you hit b to go done if you did want to go into any of these other areas that's left button right button or whatever it shows you down the bottom l1 r1 i suppose on the playstation when you've done all of those and allocated them you hit b to go done or if you made a mistake you can hit y or whatever it shows at the top left to reset all those allocations if you want to try again. Um, as you do those, you'll see that they affect your key um, sort of attributes, um, like crossing or whatever, no, no matter what one you go for um, in your attributes thing on the right hand side, down the bottom right. So they, they vary depending on whether you're looking at dribbling or passing or whatever. Um, so once you're done, you hit done. Uh, and then the last thing you've got is your perks. So there's a few that are unlocked that you can use. So you just select one of these pop it in there, so A and A I did there, and then B to exit when you've done that. And then finally, we're into the player career mode. You can see there's our new boy, um, Kelly. Uh, so the number there is on the back of the shirt as well. And we're all good to go. So that's it really. That's how you create a player in FIFA 22 career mode. I hope that was useful. If it was, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. Thanks for watching.